All right, and welcome back. So today we are going to be discussing how to solve inequalities by using adding or subtracting. And then in the same video, we're going to be talking about how to solve inequalities by using multiplication and division. Um, these are sections 2.2 and sections 2.3 within your textbook about solving inequalities by using one step equations. But we're going to combine these today because they're very similar to each other. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. So whenever you're solving a one-step equality, uh, inequality, sorry, by adding, it's the same that we would use for an equation. Let's say we have x minus 2 is equal to 1, and x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 1. And we want to graph the solutions when we have it. Well, if we look at our equation on the left, we would add 2 to both sides. We're going to do the exact same thing when it comes to our inequality. We're going to add 2 to both sides. When we do that, our equation would be x is equal to 3. Our inequality is x is greater than or equal to 3. And then we're going to graph our answer within that. So it's the exact same process that we use for solving one-step equations. We're just now applying that to an inequality, and we're going to have to graph it in relation to what we talked about earlier, which is if it's less than or greater than, it's an open circle. Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it's a closed circle, and we shade in the direction that has our true statements. What about if we have something that looks like this? Well, we have negative 4 is equal to a minus 3 as an equation. Negative 4 is greater than a minus 3 as an inequality. Well, again, we want to isolate that variable. We want to add 3 to both sides. So we're going to get that negative 1 is equal to a for our equation, Negative 1 is greater than a for our inequality. And then we're going to graph it just like we have been doing. So there's no major differences between one-step equations and one-step inequalities with adding or solving by adding yet. So with that in mind, please work on problems 1 to 4 that are on your note sheet and resume when you are ready to move forward. All right, if you're listening to my voice, that means you have worked on problems one and one, two, three, and four on your note sheet, and you're ready to talk about how to solve by subtracting. So this is when we're gonna have an equation or an inequality that currently shows addition because we're gonna use that inverse operation of subtraction. Let's say we have x plus three is equal to seven and x plus three is less than seven. Well, we're gonna perform the same operation that we would for our equation onto our inequality. We're gonna subtract three on each side, in our equation, we'd get x equals 4. Our inequality is x is less than 4. And then we graph it just like we normally would with any other equation. Or you can graph it like any other inequality that we have been graphing. We solve it just like an equation, but we graph it like an inequality. And what about something that looks like this? This is a second example for solving using subtraction. So we have negative 4 is equal to h plus 2. As an equation, negative 4 is less than or equal to h plus 2 as an inequality. Well, we want to isolate that h, so we're going to subtract 2 on both sides. When we do so, in our equation, we get negative 6 is equal to h. Our inequality, negative 6, is less than or equal to h. Now, we're going to flip that around, and we're going to have h is greater than or equal to negative 6, because we want to be able to graph it in comparison. So we want to have our variable, inequality sign, and then our number that we are comparing it to. And when we compare it, we then see, oh, it's greater than or equal to. So to graph it, we fill in that circle and we shade to the right. Please work on problems 5 through 8 on the note sheet for 2.2 and resume when you are ready to move on. All right, so if you're hearing my voice, that means you're ready to move on. And we're going to be talking about 2.3 which is going to be solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. This is section 2.3. And again, we're solving one-step equations here. We're now just going to be using the operations of multiplication and division. So without further ado, let's begin. So there is a major difference between solving equations by multiplying or dividing and solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. It is stated as your top part of the note sheet that is provided to you. The inequality sign must be reversed when multiplying and technically dividing by a negative number. So let's, uh, let's go through a couple scenarios here. Let's say we're multiplying by a positive number on the left and a negative number on the right. Let's say we have 2 is less than 5 
for both of them, and we know that that is true. Let's multiply the left-hand side by positive 3. Let's multiply the right-hand side by negative 3. Well, let's see what we get when we do that. We have 6 is less than 15, which is true. And we have over on the right-hand side, negative 6 is less than negative 15. Well, that's false. So in order for us to have a true statement, we have to reverse that inequality sign to do so. That's what's going to give us our true statement. So the general rule of thumb here and the application of, of this rule in this example is whenever we multiply by a negative number, we have to switch the inequality sign when we do that. We are going to be going through an example. Don't worry. Let's say we have x is divided by 3. That's greater than negative 2. Well, we're going to solve it just like we would an equation. We're going to multiply both sides by 3, and we're multiplying by a positive number, so we do not need to change that inequality sign or flip that inequality sign. So we just get that x is greater than negative 6, and we can graph it like we normally would. But in this example, we have x is being divided by negative 4, and that's greater than or equal to 1. So just like we would an equation, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 4. But since we're multiplying by a negative and we are actively moving that negative sign or that term that has a negative to it, we have to reverse the inequality sign. So notice how in, when we started, it was x with an operation is greater than or equal to 1. Now it's x is less than or equal to negative 4 because we applied the multiplication by a negative. A lot of students forget that. Whenever we multiply and technically divide, we're going to get into that soon, we have to change the inequality symbol at that time. With this in mind, please work on problems numbers 1 through 4 on your 2.3 note sheet. And resume when you are ready to move on. All right, if you're listening to my voice, that means you are ready to move on. And right now we're going to be talking about how to solve by using division. And again, the difference is the same when it comes to multiplying as it is dividing. When we are dividing by a negative number, we have to reverse the inequality sign. Just like we did when we multiplied by a negative number, we do the same thing when we divide by a negative number number. Whenever we actively divide by a negative number, and by actively, I mean we do it on both sides. It's not given to us. When we change it on both sides, that's when we reverse that inequality sign. But let's go through a couple of examples with that. So let's solve 3x is greater than negative 12 first. Well, we're going to treat it just like we would an equation. We're going to divide both sides by 3. 3 is positive, so our inequality symbol stays the same, right? We don't reverse it. So we have x is greater than negative 4, so we can graph it with an open circle at 4, shading to the right. But let's talk about if we had a negative number that we're going to be dividing by. Let's say we have negative 2m is less than or equal to 10. I want to isolate the m, so we're going to have to divide both sides by negative 2. But again, be aware, we are dividing both sides by negative 2. So we have to reverse the inequality sign. It was a less than or equal to, and now it turns into a greater than or equal to. And we graph it with a closed circle at negative 5 because we can include the value of negative 5, and it's all real numbers that are greater than negative 5, including negative 5. So we shade to the right. Again, the difference is that we actively divided by a negative on both sides. Since we divided by a negative on both sides, we flip the inequality sign. Within the first example we did, negative 12 was already there. We didn't move that negative to another side. We divided by a positive. It was given a negative. In our example on the right, we divided by a negative. So when we divide or we multiply by negative, we change that sign and we reverse it to its opposite. If it was greater than, it's now less than. If it was less than, it's now greater than. And the same goes with or equal to. With this in mind, please work on problems five through eight on the note sheet. 
and have a great day, folks. Great job with this. If you have any questions, please reach out.